My journey to discover the best rhythm and choose in the U.S. has taken me to Memphis, oh. Nashville, and New Orleans. And finally, this week on my rock and roll road trip, I'll be taking in the sights, sounds, and tastes of Soulsville. Welcome to Clarksdale, Mississippi. And he shows them early white. Westlife have covered many blues tracks on stage over the years, so to finally come to the place where the music was born is a very special moment for me. First up on my journey, I'm heading to Ground Zero Blues Club, whose mission is to encourage up-and-coming musicians. And today I'm going to see what's going on. I'm going to meet owner Bill Luckett and musician Gary Vincent. Good afternoon, Bill, is it? Yeah, Kian. Nice to meet you, Bill. How are you? Bill, tell us what you're eating here. Well, this is a bundle of three hot tamales, which is a blues music staple part of our diet. <laughs> this is some meat wrapped in some good flour stuff here. Right, OK, OK. Very, very... Want a bite? Go on, let's, why not? Let's try it. Extra, let's try it. Extra fork over here. Are they spicy? No, mildly. These are pretty mild, actually. Mmm. Mm. It tastes great. Aren't they good? Originally, we think, brought in by Mexican railroad workers when the Illinois Central Gulf Railroad came through the Mississippi Delta back probably in the late 1800s. Why is Clarksdale, Mississippi, the birthplace of the blues? This is where it all began. It's the point of beginning. It's ground zero for blues music. Muddy Waters took his blues from here, Stovall Plantation, to Chicago and got an electric amplified sound that, that really brought it out as well. So Bill, I can see Gary is up there plucking away at his guitar. So I'm going to go up to him and see if he can teach me a thing or two about the blues. Well, you may can teach him a thing or two about the blues. Yeah, who knows? Try him out and see. Hey, hey Gary. Hey, How man, are you, my Come on up here, man. How are you? Pick up that guitar, man. I want you to see it. I'm blazing blues. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Another steel in my poor heart. She don't even need a gun to do the crime. Come on. You're playing the blues. Thank you very much. Fun, man. We're playing the blues. We've got graffiti all around the walls. Is it a real tradition to come here and, and pen your name? We have everybody from Blondie to Dan Aykroyd to Robert Plant. You must have had some amazingly famous people play here. We've had Willie Nelson play here. Great. Jerry Lee Lewis. Wow. Oh, the list goes on and on. All the modern genres of music have their roots in blues. There's an expression we use that says Blues had a baby and we called it rock and roll. <laughs> this is America's gift to the world and it's really the Mississippi Delta's gift to the world, this Indeed. blues music. Well, having played on this famous stage, it's only fitting I sign my name like all the other musicians. The Delta Blues Museum was created in 1999 to preserve and celebrate the birthplace of the blues. And no trip to Clarksdale will be complete without a walk around this world famous museum. Oh, look at these shoes. And I'm sad to say, I actually own a pair of shoes pretty similar to that. This suit here actually reminds me of the suit Westlife wore in What Makes a Man video. Full on, huh? I wonder if people still wear suits like this today. Back in the early 19th century, when the plantation workers farmed the cotton fields, music was their only salvation from what was often a grueling existence. And I've arranged to meet someone who knows all about the history of the area at the Hobson Plantation. I think this looks like the place. Hey, how you how doing? How are you, James? I'm Keith. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So, uh, James, how about a good old local beer to start off? Very good indeed. What was the thing that kind of kept morale up and kept spirits alive? Out there? The music, the church music would go into the fields and they would just kind of try to keep their spirits up by, by singing and everybody would gather there um, to use homemade instruments that they would make. So they used to make their own instruments just to yep. try and get some sort of a vibe going, right? Right. So food is a massive part of the Delta Mississippi also. So what would you typically serve in your menu? 
Uh, typically, we do uh, smoked pulled pork barbecue that I cook for 24 or 5 hours, butter beans, turnip greens, and then we're making cornbread. Any, anything you hadn't had before on that? I, I tell you, I'm really looking forward to some, like, you know, homemade cornbread. I'm starving. Uh, okay. So what we got here, James? All right, we got turnip greens, got cornbread, yeah. sweet potatoes, fried chicken, mm -hmm. and butter beans. So this is like some pepper sauce? Uh, yeah, right. Maybe peppers, a bit spicy? Just vinegar and peppers and it. <laughs> strong. Give you a nice little kick. Okay, let, let's start with the easy stuff. Huh? Uh, sweet potato. We like sweet potato. I'm actually really hungry now. The sweet potatoes are boiled in sugar, the turnip greens are cooked on the stove, with ham added for flavor, and the cornbread is baked in the oven in a traditional cast iron pan. Mm. It's really good. It's really good over baby water down. Well, James, you can come here, you can drink the local beer, eat the local food, listen to some fantastic local music. This is definitely a cool place to come. Red's Bar is one of the best known Duke joints in Clarksdale, and it's still run by Red himself. But don't be fooled by its rundown exterior, as it's the place you'll hear authentic blues. This is where the blues began and how the music grew from the cotton fields to the Duke joints and finally to vinyl. While I grab a beer, Red is shredding the pulled pork joint, which is being slow cooked all day on the barbecue. This dish is just beginning to make waves here in the UK, but has been a staple diet of Mississippi since the mid 1800s. So what, what you got going on in here, Red? Oh, those are greens, man. We can even get some. These are those the are real greens, you know. Those aren't those fake greens you eat today. Yeah? Yeah. We've got street food at its finest here. Whilst traveling the world with Westlife, I've been to some interesting places over the years, but I've never been to anywhere quite like this. If you're ever in Clarksdale, come down here, try some of Red's barbecue food, meet Red, the man himself, and listen to some of the finest blues music. My rhythm and shoes road trip across the US states of Tennessee, Louisiana, and Mississippi have taken me to the birthplace of all American music. Along the way, I've eaten some of country's tastiest food, from ribs to oysters to Creole cooking, and it's been an amazing journey. But my lasting memory of this place will be the people I've met along the way. And here's to all of them. Cheers, Cheers. my man. Thanks for coming in. Well, it's